You know, people talk about guilt as if it's an instinct. That the second you do something wrong, you feel guilty. Well, I don't. What I'm feeling is power. You always join the story at the bit where they're sorry, when they're desperately begging for forgiveness. But there's something before that. There's now. In the space after the act and before the consequences, when you've gotten away with it, when you're walking out of an unknown door, back down unknown streets, and it's still thumping in you, the dawn's breaking, dew's settling, and you're skipping back home, flying on the thrill of it. You can taste it. Even back here. The quiet click of the door, the tiptoe in. Oh man, the alcohol's wearing off too quickly. And I want it back. Our bed, all the stuff that makes up our life. And I don't feel like a traitor. You know, I can lie here whilst another man's saliva dries off my lips, and I can remember another man's face bearing over me. And I enjoy it. I enjoy that all this seems new again. His alarm will go off in ten minutes, and he won't even notice that I, anything's different. He won't see the mascara down my face or that my hair is wet because I've been running in the rain trying to get back to him before he wakes up. He won't notice that I haven't been here or that I'm drunk. No, for him, I became invisible a long time ago. And having been with someone else, it's like I left this room for the first time in years and came back in and realized that this is a man I once thought I might marry. Oh, it won't even occur to him that I could have done what I have. It could be all three of us in this bed, and I still don't think it would cross his mind. That much trust? Yesterday, it made us strong. This morning, it makes him weak. Look at him. The face of the innocent, or ignorant. Either way, it's bliss. And for once, in 10 minutes time, I have him in my hands and when he wakes up, I make the call. I tell him or I don't tell him. Now, let's say I tell him. He'll stare, he'll take big heavy breaths and then the anger will rise in him and he'll stand up and it'll seem like something might break in him. And I, I'll just sit there in silence. I'll squeeze my eyes shut and I'll try not to hear what he has to say because he might say some things that are true about what kind of person this makes me. And I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see what I've done in his face.